So today I'm going to be showing you how to use the pen feature in Adobe Illustrator. The three main tools that we're going to use today, I'm going to show you right now. The selection tool, the direct selection tool, and the pen tool. So these are the three main ones we're going to use. And we're kind of going to play around and make our own font. So the first thing you want to make sure you select is the actual pen. And you want to outline your letter. You click every time you want to make a point in your letter. So every time you want to change directions, just make sure you click that pen and kind of just direct it the way you want it to go. And right now I'm just creating the letter A and just making it equal. Now you can adjust it after you made your click. So if you find out that your letter is kind of uneven, you can adjust the points and I'm going to show you that. And you can also delete whatever stroke you made last. So I just deleted that one because it wasn't a straight line. You can also use the shift key to make a straight line whenever you are trying to make your next point. So this is me just kind of adjusting the letter to straighten it out. And I had to go to the direct selection tool, which was that second arrow to kind of adjust it. And then I went back to the pin and I'm going to make my center portion. We're just going to make a little triangle. And if you find that it's hard for you to create your own letters um, without any kind of tracing, what you can do is you can select a font that you really like and import it into Adobe Illustrator and then use your pen feature to kind of trace it, but change it a little if you want, because you don't want to directly take someone else's font. So what you can do is you can trace it for the most part and then adjust it how you want. And right here, you can see that I use the direct selection tool to click on my anchor. Those are the points. And then if you click on the circle, you can move your mouse up and down to adjust if you want it to be more round, less round. And to just make it a little more interesting, I'm going to round out all the corners in my letter. So that's how you do that. You take that direct selection arrow and you click on the anchor, which is the point in the line. And then it'll bring up a circle and you just move that circle up and down to make it more curved. So now we have a nice curved A and I am going to kind of adjust it a little. So you'll see this little piece, which I accidentally moved it. This little piece is not connected to the other part of the letter. And I'm going to show you how to connect that part here a little later in the video. Now I'm going to create an eye and Adobe Illustrator will automatically bring up those little red lines that will show you what a straight line is so that you can know where to place your next point. Next, I'm going to show you how to join two different points or anchors in a line without actually making a line manually. So you're going to click an anchor. You're gonna to go to your direct selection tool, click your anchor, hit shift, hold down shift, and then click your other anchor. And then you're gonna right click and hit join. So it's going to join those two points. And then right now I'm just curving every point so that it looks like my A letter because you want your letters to look similar. And I'm going to show you another way to make sure that all of the letters in your font look similar by tracing. So there's also a tool that will allow you to fill your letter so you can have it colored in or it can just be an outline. So if you look at the top here, this is a no fill. So now we're going to select the black color and it's going to fill that font with black and you can change it to whatever color you want and the 
other uh, tool is the stroke tool and that is your outline so you can make that line thicker thinner however you want to do that and up at the top next to where it says stroke you have the points and that's where you can increase the points so that your line is thicker or thinner so right now I'm just making my stroke line thicker so you can see it better and next I'm going to actually connect the center piece of that A so that it's not two different segments or parts of the letter we're going to click our selection tool arrow we're going to select both parts we're going to go to properties and under properties you'll see pathfinder and you're going to click that second option that says click to minus front and it's going to connect both of those pieces now i'm just going to fill these letters and i'm just going to make them black so i'm going to go over you can also go to the fill options on the side here I'm going to select my letter and we're going to change it to black. Okay, now I'm going to show you all how I'm going to trace the end of my A to make an R. I want my R to look similar to my A, so I'm going to trace the end part of it. And I'm going to change the color to red so that you can see the difference between my tracing and the actual letter. And you can do that by adjusting the stroke color at the top. So I zoomed in a little bit. You can zoom in by using the feature down in the bottom left corner so that I can see better and trace better. And you can also see your anchor points better when you're zoomed in. So I'm going to start at the corner of the A go all the way down and create a straight line along the A and then I'm going to create my next point. Then this next part is a little tricky. So you want to go to the middle part of that A and make your click, but you want to hold down. You don't want to release that click so that you can adjust the curve. And this takes a little practice, but like I said, you want to create your point. You want to click down without letting go or releasing that click. And then you can move your arrow around or cursor around and it will adjust the curve in that letter. And so now I'm just creating all of my points. And I just wanted that bottom portion of the A. So I'm going to go back to my arrow selection key. I'm going to take off the part that I traced. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to use that as the base for my letter R. And it may look a little weird, but you can always adjust it. You can always change it. So don't worry. You have the foundation. So that's the best part. So next, I'm going to go back. After I adjust it a little, I'm going to go back to my pen tool. And we're going to create the rest of our points on our letter R. So I'm going to take the last point that I have from that line. I'm going to bring it up. And then we're going to create our R. It's going to create straight lines, but like I said, you click down, you hold it down, and you can move your mouse around to create that curve in the line. And so this is how I'm going to create my foundation for my R. And you can always play around with it. So don't feel like, oh my gosh, I have to delete everything if it doesn't look right. Create your point and then hold down your mouse and then just adjust it. And a lot of people find it easier to use an iPad and an Apple Pencil to draw and create letters. But I'm showing you on the computer um, using my laptop because this is how I learned first. And now I find this way to be easier than trying to use a pencil just because I'm not used to it yet. But I do plan on learning more about using the pencil feature and getting more comfortable with that. Now, if you see those little levers, those little lines that look like levers, you can move those up and down and that's how you can also adjust your curves, your lines and all that good stuff. So now I'm just gonna speed up the process where I'm just adjusting this letter and then we'll come back and make our I look like both of our A and our R. Now I'm gonna widen the I and then I am done showing you all how to use the pen feature today. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Thank you.